Hey, what up, people? It's Vitas Tech, and today we are checking out a 15-in-1 docking station. Now, this can be used on everything from your phone to your laptop. I will be using this to supercharge my Samsung DeX experience, so thank you to For Your PC for setting this out for review. Let's go ahead and dive into the box. As soon as you take the sleeve cover off, you see them saying thank you in six different ways, so always nice to see. When you crack the box open... I'm guessing this is the hub itself, so we would save that for last. Let's see what's actually in these smaller boxes. In the first box, you get two Type-C cables. Now, that is nice to see. They are decent lengths. Not a bad start at all. And in the last box, you get survey says you get the charger. It actually comes with the charger because, you know, they're leaving the charger out of everything nowadays. And this is a 65 watt charger. So that is a win. Let's go ahead and pull out the instructions. Let's see what this is. So you get your free warranty extended. It shows you how to set it up. If you want, you can follow these instructions. It shows you all of the uses. But let's go ahead and put that to the side because we are professionals. We know what we're doing over here. Not really. <laughs> All right, let's check out the docking station. Now, the docking station has a really nice build to it. Decent weight straight out the plastic. You got your headphone jack, your two speed transfers, 3.0, and your Type-C connection. I'm guessing that should be, what, 3.1, 3.2? Not bad. You have your micro SD, you have your four, uh, SD slot, you have your two USB 2.0. So if you want to use that for like your keyboard or your mouse, you have your 3.0 for de fast data transfer, your VGA connection, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Now this does have an output of 4K 30, I believe. You have the power port for your 65 watt charging and you have your host port to connect with type C and then you have an ethernet, which I believe can connect up to a thousand with, what is it? I believe it is, yeah, a thousand, thousand megabytes. So you are good if you have an ether connection, no worries there, but it has a nice build quality to it. I like that it has the rubber feet on the bottom. It's not gonna slide too much against the table. That is a nice touch. Let's go ahead and get this set up. I'll be right back. All right, so setup is really easy. It just comes down to how much you want to have plugged up into your hub. Right now, it's being powered by the 65 watt charger that came in the box, the USB-C host, which will be plugged directly into the tablet itself, and then the HDMI cable that is plugged into the monitor. The hub will be controlling everything except for the keyboard because I'm using that connected with Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and plug the USB-C host cable directly into the tablet. It takes about 10 seconds to power up. Doesn't take that long at all. You will see it say connected to external device. There it is. So let's go ahead and grab the dongle. This will be controlling the mouse that I'm currently using. We'll just go ahead and plug that right in back. If I can find the slot. <laughs> all right, so we'll hit the mouse. The mouse is right there on the screen. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and hit Chrome. Let's do a speed test. So right now I'm on Wi-Fi. Getting pretty decent speeds, not bad at all. 240, all right, so 230, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and hit Wi-Fi, turn it off. Since it does have a ethernet connection, Let's go ahead and plug up the Ethernet cable directly into it. Ethernet is connected. Let's go ahead and retest. So as you can see, the speeds went up drastically. Not bad at all. One more time, let's go ahead and disconnect it. We will hit again. Nothing should happen because nothing's connected. Hit it again, nothing. Let's hit Plug the Ethernet cable back in. Give it a couple seconds to register. Speed test again. Those speeds are really good. I wish I was getting this over Wi-Fi. 
But so the ethernet cable works with no issues. Let's go ahead and continue only through ethernet. Let's minimize that window. Let's go ahead and open up my files. Now this is a USB. Let's go ahead and plug that in. We'll plug that right into the front. You should see it pop up right to the left. There's the first one. And here goes the second one. This one is type C. We'll plug that one right up next to it to the right. Boom. Now there is two USB devices connected at once. Let's hit this one. Let's say we want to copy some files over. So one, two, we will hit copy. We'll move it to the internal storage over here. We'll copy here. And so while that's downloading, we'll go do some other stuff. Let's go ahead and open, let's open YouTube. Let's go ahead and play some music. So we'll get some music going on in the background. Hopefully not too loud. Let me make sure that the audio is being played through the tablet itself. So, all right, so it's being played through the tablet right now. This is the 3.5 headphone jack. Go ahead and plug that right in. You will see the headset connected. It is now being played directly through the headphones. So everything works there perfectly, just fine. Let's go ahead and minimize that window. What else do we wanna do? Let's see, let's see. Let's hide the pop-up. We'll minimize the window. Let's say we wanna knock out an email. We'll go to Gmail. We'll compose a new email. Real typing speeds right here. Look at me killing that. Oh, typing speed skills are on point. Profession now. But yeah, so let's go ahead and minimize that window as well. Let's not minimize. Let's just go ahead and. All right, so there's one window right here. We have YouTube up over here. Let's say we want to watch, what do we want to watch? Let's throw on some, where's my Netflix at? What happened to Netflix? And there's Netflix. So we'll go ahead and put that window right there. We can go ahead and let's just get something else playing. So yeah, you can have Netflix in this window over here. You have your Gmail right here. You have YouTube right here. Let's go ahead and pause that. Let's say you want to open up. Uh, what else do we want to open up? Say we want to open. Let's just open Spotify. We have Spotify right there. You have your Gmail right here. You have Netflix over here. Let's go back to our files. It looks like the file has fully transferred with no issues at all. File one, there's file two. Both of the files have fully transferred. Let's go ahead and put that window over here. And then say you wanted to open up the calculator. You have the calculator app over here. You're doing numbers. Everything you need for Samsung Dex, this hub right here has supercharged it threefold at least. And I'm not even using all the ports. This is definitely a pretty good pickup if you're really into Samsung Dex like I am and you want a supercharged experience. Not bad at all. Once again, this is for your PC, the 15 in one docking station. Definitely worth a pickup. But until next time, it's VDUS Tech. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.